Welcome to Spence's Surprise Corner, everybody, where we're about to play a game that uh, is too loud, first of all. Uh, secondly, it's based on a thing that has been an in-joke with us for years. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's a little Nemo game. This looks way less terrifying than the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like, I don't think it's actually based on the movie. I think it might be more based on the comic. Really? That preceded the movie. Oh. I mean, it does look artistically very similar. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, for anybody who hasn't seen Little Nemo, uh, that is a fantastic uh, early 90s animated movie. Uh, fun fact, directed by Christopher Columbus, the guy that did the first two Harry Potter movies. Mm-hmm. Um, as a, I, I can't remember if it's, like, actually an anime or not, like, if an anime studio worked on it, but I thought it has a very actually, anime-ish looking art style. Yeah, I think, I think we looked it up last time and it was done by a Japanese studio. Okay. But it wasn't, like originally a Japanese movie that we dubbed or anything like it is. I think, it is an I American movie. I think they just movie. paid a Japanese studio to do it. Yeah, I think so too. But uh, yeah, Little Nemo is fantastic. It is everything you want out of a 90s animated kids movie. It's got beautiful animation. It's like kind of fucked up and darker than yeah. you might think. And uh, it's kind of surreal, and yeah, it's got a lot of cool imagery in it. It's a really interesting little story, and uh, it's what first got me like fascinated with and interested in dreams as a kid. Mm hmm. And that's something that's carried over into my adult life. Why is the sky green? Yeah, I mean, the colors are just, yeah, I mean, the dream master. This is our first NES game, so uh, 1989. Yep. Oh, 1990, 1989. When did the movie come out, though? That's a good question. It may have been the late 80s. I'm not sure. Yeah, I feel like... Do I have limited ammo? No, cool. All right. Unlimited candy. Oh. Hey, little boy. What are you doing here? This place is too dangerous for little boys. <laughs> that doesn't sound ominous. Hmm, it's on Blu-ray now. It was 1989. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. So this is the same year, or just after. So then it must have been based on the movie, or at least partially. Your mind stay. Your mind set on staying here. I should tell you a secret. Many of the creatures here will give you a ride if you feed them candy. This sounds terrible. You can ride for as long as you like. Press select to stop. Also, many doors are locked. You will need to collect a different key for each lock in order to get through. No, don't open <laughs> the doors. By the way, my name is Flip. This guy was voiced by Mickey Rooney in the movie. Yep. Which, you know, this probably isn't saying a ton, but it was probably the highlight of Mickey Rooney's career. <laughs> Uh, evil looking spike snail. I said I can ride them. How do I? You just, how do I do it? You dead? Yep, I'm you dead. You die. Hmm. Sleep paralysis. <laughs> oh, is that what I'm giving them when I hit them with the candy? Then you take them on a weird surreal Ow. journey. Uh, maybe. Like I know it was just like a limitation of the time, but the. The black skies, like, make things a little more unsettling. What yeah. is with that xenomorph thing? Yeah, that that's like... Oh, God. <sighs> All right. Fucking, what do you call <clears throat> uh, dark sides things in Batman? Uh, parademons. Yeah. And, yeah, I guess it's technically Batman, too. Yeah, I mean, not... <laughs> It's just because I, I, I think I of I got what I think of selling. more Batman in, in that universe because like Superman's such uh, a nothing character. Yeah, but it is Superman's thing. Uh, oh God, these snails can hydrate. Yeah, they're sea snails. What if you want to ride the Parademon, like? Like I don't know how to ride anything. Well, that the it the told frog me that thing, I can, but 
it ate the candy. So I think it was a there's a way to jump on that. Well, no, anything I hit with the candy, like it paralyzes it for a second, but I don't. It must be a timed thing. You have to get it, like on its back. But like the snail has a spiky back. I would assume like, yeah, like you like can't it... ride that. But the frog ate it. I don't think the frog ate I, it. I, I think it just like hit it like it did with the snail. No, because I don't think it. See, he ate it. Okay, you're right. Do you have to like lure it out and then or do I have jump to do on it its a back? Certain amount of times. Oh, and now it's asleep. Oh, okay. It ate you. No, it I fucking I, ate you. No, I climbed inside it, and it's it's dead now. Talk about surreal nightmare. <laughs> ah. No, give me that health. There, okay, there we go. Ah. <laughs> Oh, okay, I can actually hurt things now. Yeah. Like, except other like, oh. Yep. Okay, all right, now now we kind of we got the flow here. We are rocking in this skin suit. Man, episode title right there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I can probably take over that mole dude and dig down for that key. Pretty sure like a mole with a hard hat and sunglasses is just like a generic design from other games. Oh, little bastard oh. frogs. Oh, swimming. Swimming through the dirt. Swimming, 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 swimming through the dirt. Can you're I... not even like peeking out of his mouth. Like you're just like, it's just like you decapitated him. Yeah. Your head's just sticking out. Can I not jump as the mole, dude? No. All right, let's give that another shot since, you know, we weren't playing with a full deck at first. We didn't know the horrors that this game was capable of. <laughs> I wonder how, like, the boss fights in this game are. Like, do you actually ever fight the Nightmare King? Because that would be horrific. We're probably going to make it some somehow. I mean, this is already pretty, like, weird, borderline terrifying. I don't think they're going to blow their load, like, in the first level. Well, yeah, not in the first level, but, like, I wonder if they have, like, a full-on battle with the Nightmare King at the end, like the movie, or if it's, like, something more from the comics or, like, a smaller time villain. Did the comics not get more terrifying I, as time went on? I have no idea. I've never read the source material. Hmm. But I do know that there was a recent-ish um, new Little Nemo what? comic that was uh, drawn by the guy that did the art for Lock and Key. Oh. Yeah. That's uh, pretty you, fucked up. Yeah, you can't jump as the mole. Okay. Uh, Become the bat. I don't... Nope, the, can it. the candy's as big as the bat. I can't become the bat. You could squeeze into a skin suit. I'll squeeze into your skin suit. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh. Okay, so I think I can only feed and become, like, the friendly-looking animals. Yeah. Like, you can't squeeze into a skeleton. Yeah. You can't squeeze into a... Spiky snail, even though that seems possible. Uh. But can you squeeze into a purple lizard? Oh, this is one of those games. You need, it's not just a go right to win. I gotta like actually need three three more keys to yeah fully get through. Cool. Huh? Fuck. And you can't climb. Oh. Waterfalls. Maybe I can do the fly thing because, like, how else would I get up that far? Maybe the purple lizard? Come on, 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 come on. Nope, nope, not gonna work. <sighs> Damn it. Did he even, like, hit you? Yeah, like, he skimmed my bum. 
Maybe the mole can get, like, up. Oh, but he can't jump. Maybe he can dig upward. Maybe. Nope, I can only go through, like, that soil-looking crap. Mm-hmm. But maybe if I'm very careful... I wonder if it, like, retained the keys that I already got. Don't know. Cool! <laughs> Man, we picked a uh, winner of a first NES game to do. Yeah, actually. You know, you don't, you don't always have to agree with me when I talk down about myself. <laughs> I wasn't taking that as a, a knock on you. It's a, it, like you didn't know what the game was going to be. Is that a... Would that be like... Our... Um, like raunchy... Relationship comedy... Like stuck on you? Knock on you? Sure. Oh, D only frogs. Fuck. <sighs> Get away from me, mother... Fucker. I was hoping you wouldn't catch that. What? That I said fuck instead of fuck. You you thought I wouldn't catch that? I was just... I don't know, man. Just praying in the dark here. Oh, man. God, why does it give you any invisibility frames like when you do that? I don't know. They don't seem that... Uh kind about that stuff. Well, I mean, we we talk all the time about how some of the SNES games we play had artificial difficulty in them to pad out the game time. That was nowhere near as bad as it is in NES games. Really? Oh, yeah. NES games were way worse about it. Like, the original Metro... Oh, you can go through... Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Just a, just a walking dum dum over here. Um, that was a fantastic leap. Fantastic leap. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, NES games were like notorious for how stupidly difficult they were. Mm. The original Metroid doesn't even have a map in it. Yeah, they just wanted you to memorize everything. Yep. Or buy the magazine. Well, I did. <laughs> I bought that magazine. I bought all those magazines. What the fuck? Yeah, it like hurts you once, no matter how, where you jump on it, apparently. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe... I don't know. I want to know if you can get inside that thing. Man. <laughs> Game did it, not me. <laughs> Okay, I think we're uh, kind of boxed into a corner here. Well, uh, I think we can call this a game. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've seen about all there is to see. I mean, I, I don't know. It, if it's like the comic or the movie, it's going to get more terrifying as time goes on. Well, yeah, but, but like, if we couldn't get any further, like... I know. To get to the rest of the area of the level where there were the other keys, we would have had to start completely from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. And gone the other route. So, like, mm. it's, it's not really feasible. Capcom made this? This is a Capcom game? Let's watch the demo. Let's see how well they do. Ah, good job. What, what was that? What? He's got like a bottle or something. Looked like a salt shaker. Can you salt the snails? Can you assault the snails? This guy's not doing that well. Yeah, he's playing way slower than we did. Snails you know me. We're not playing a game unless we're running. <laughs> How do you... Oh, so you have to jump exactly on the head of the snail to hurt it? Yeah, they just expect you to avoid the spikes. 
Yeah. The, Even though you're inside a rubbery skin suit. Yeah, you're supposed to avoid the two pixels of, uh... No, you're supposed to hit the two pixels of sweet spot and miss the danger zone. Mm-hmm. All right. Come on. What are you going to do, pal? Hmm. A mole. I could get in that. Cool. What, what are you going to do? Okay, yeah. Smart. Not smart. I shouldn't talk. I got hit by so many of those things. I feel like you, you did walk right into that for... Okay, cool. I feel less bad about our playthrough now. They're just trying to fuck with you. Like, how do you how do you get past this point? We're not telling you. <sighs> fuck this game. <laughs>